Hey guys, today I'm doing something that pretty much all of my life I have told myself that I'm not doing this. I refuse to do it. I never wanted to do it. I'm doing it. I am doing it and I'm freaking out. What are you doing? You are probably asking. Well, I'm cutting my hair and nobody knows about it. Like, I've not told anybody. The other person that knows is my hairstylist and my friend that will be taking a video for me. I usually, when I get haircuts, I just get like a little trim. So if I've said I'm getting a haircut done with my friends, they think that I'm just getting my hair trimmed like I normally would, but no. This time I'm actually taking off a lot. I think I'm gonna take off like 10 or 12 inches. I'm not sure yet, we'll just see how much my hairstylist thinks I should take off. Oh my lord. This is this is like crazy huge. I've been growing my hair out since third grade. So in kindergarten I got my first big haircut. I got a cut off for my shoulders. Here's a picture. In third grade I got another haircut where I got it cut off for my shoulders again. I absolutely hated it. It was so ugly. I still to this day think I was pretty ugly because of it. Here's another picture. I'm not cutting it off from my shoulders. I refuse to do that ever again. Never happening. Probably gonna happen in the future because I'm stupid. Pretty much since third grade, I've been growing it out. Like everybody's like, ah, how did you get hair so long? But I'm like, I just wash it, I brush it, I trim it. Been growing it out since third grade. That's how it's so long, guys. Um, 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 um. One of the reasons why I never wanted to cut it off was because I always thought it was my safety blanket and I actually had an incident where it kind of saved my face. So my friend that's going to be taking a video of me getting my hair cut off, she has a dog that came from Afghanistan somewhere and I went over to her house a couple years ago we were just hanging out and her mom was sitting and the dog was sitting like in between her legs and I was sitting on the floor. And so I turned to get my nail polish back and right when I turned, her dog just like freaked out and like jumped at me and like bit once and like just pulled some of my hair and then went to go by another time. She had like hit my arm. I had some scratches but it like she didn't break skin. She went for my face but my hair was in the way and so she bought or she bit my hair. And so because of my hair, it saved my face. So, I think another reason I'm going to be cutting my hair is because I think I need to start doing like small changes because I'm about to go to college and that's going to be a huge change. I'm moving out, I'm going to be living on my own, it's going to be scary, and blah blah blah, and it's going to be a major change from what I'm, from my life right now. And so, that I just slowly get bigger and bigger changes in my life. This honestly is a pretty big change, but most people would consider it a small change. Ah. <laughs> you miss you. Well, that was the rest of my life. I'm getting my hair cut now. Snap your fingers, do your step. You can do it all by yourself, baby girl. What's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. I'm so mo. You know me, Cody Tarpley's on those keys. I know the club. Close at three. What's the chance of you rolling with me? Back to the crib. Show you how I live. Let's get drunk. Forget what we did. I'ma buy you a drink. Uh, I'ma take you home with me. I got money in the bank. Shot it. What you think about that? Find me in the gray Cadillac. Like we in the bed like Talk money, I talk that Chrome juice